One of Adelaide's best-known hotels, Tiffin's on the Park, has closed its doors after more than 40 years of trading. Nine News has been told the hotel's operators were half a million dollars behind in rent, prompting the landlord to evict them. Tiffin's on the Park has been an Adelaide institution for more than 40 years, but spiralling debt has now forced the landlord to move in. Unfortunately, it's got to a point where uh, I just had to call in the debt. This is the notice guests have been greeted with since last week. Gail Roberts-Kennedy had planned to meet colleagues there tonight. You can't stay here tonight. No, no, that's fine. We'll find somewhere else. Thank you. No worries at all. I had no idea, so yeah, it's a bit of a shame really that another business is feeling the pinch of the economy. Nine News understands the business owners owe the landlord more than a year's worth of rent, and that's believed to be in excess of half a million dollars. The landlord was, uh, in my opinion, very generous with the, with the lessee. The hotel's operators dispute the amount the landlord claims is owed. The Hotels Association believes the 54-room Tiffins has struggled to compete with new city accommodation. I think we're going to see tougher times for, for smaller operators. As competition increases, there's an inevitability that some more will be pushed to the wall. Recent online reviews have been mixed. A little gem sitting right on the edge of the city Highly recommend it to all, but it looks like it was once a bit of a grand old dame, but now it's more old than grand. The state government believes existing businesses can coexist with new developments. The landlord hopes the Tiffins can be reopened in coming months. Eddie Godfrey, Nine News.